hello students i hope you all are fine last time i discuss about how to apply the definition of limit but that was informal definition but now we will discuss that how to apply formal definition or we can say precise definition of a limit means uh, sometimes uh, we are asked to find um, uh, some limits and we are asked to solve some sort of questions uh, by using formal definition and we have to know that how we can solve these questions but i write here how to find delta algebraically for a given f l x naught and epsilon is greater than 0 means that uh, we know from our precise definition uh, this one implies this means this one exists whenever this condition holds so uh, sometimes uh, there will be a question that uh, um, find the delta when you are given a particular question and then you can easily find by using the formal definition now first let let us see this procedure and then we will move forward uh, an example now the process of finding an delta is greater than zero such that uh, for all x this one implies this can be accomplished in two steps means we can find delta by uh, doing these two steps what are these the first step is solve the inequality this one means uh, this inequality that involves epsilon first of all we have to solve it to find an open interval a b containing x node on which inequality holds for all x is not equal to x node for example uh, if we open this inequality f of x minus l means first step says that if you open this inequality then you will get some interval how because you know when we open the inequality then we get uh, this sort of thing and uh, then uh, if we add l then it we will get this thing yes now when you solve this particular inequality then you get an interval containing x not on it inequality holds and then the uh, second step says that find the value of delta is greater than zero that places the open interval this one because you know when we open this inequality we get this one but we have to first solve this and then try to find the delta from uh, uh, from the step one for example uh, it says that uh, that places the open interval centered at x node inside the interval a b the inequality will hold for all x is not equal to x naught in this delta interval means this inequality will also hold in this delta interval now let us look at its example and then all the things will be clear to us now the question is prove that limit x approaches to to f of x is equals to 4 if means here we are not given a function you know when we uh, so previously solve then we have a particular question for example here we can write x x square 2x plus 4 and any other function but here the function is um, this one function um, f of x is equal to x square when x is not equal to 2 means function gives a value x square when x is not equal to 2 and it gives a value 1 when x is equal to 2 now by definition our task is to show for given epsilon is greater than zero there exists a delta is greater than zero such that means i am just referring here the exact definition of a formal um, formal definition of a limit because when we are defining a limit in a formal way then we say that for given epsilon is greater than zero there exists a delta is greater than zero such that now um, I write here what the formal definition says that uh, this inequality implies this and I just replace the values from the question that is given to us the question says limit x approaches to 2 f of x is equal to 4 and you know in symbolic form it will be equal to f uh, x approaches to x naught f of x is equal to l now we just have to replace the values of x naught here and I write 0 is less than x minus 2 is less than delta from this one and f of x minus l you know here the answer l is equals to 4 we just replace here by 4 and we write equation number a 
now as i previously discussed first of all we have to uh, solve this inequality okay um, as we discussed in the uh, previous page that there are two steps to find delta algebraically that first of all we have to solve this inequality for x is not equal to x2 we know that our function is equal to x square so we just replace our f of x with x square and then it is less than epsilon if i open this absolute value then i get this inequality and if we add 4 then we will get this one and after taking square root we get equation number 1 now the inequality this one holds for all x is not equal to x not in open interval this one because we previously said that here uh, as i said that we find an open interval that contain x node on which the inequality holds and this is the same thing that i find here is there is that inequality now if we want to elaborate it uh, graphically then i can show it as this one for example here is our functional value and we know that at x is equal to 2 we have a hole because a uh, function is not defined there when it is x equals to x square and uh, here is the uh, interval here is delta interval and here is the other interval and uh, our functional value our limiting value lies in this interval and our x lies in this interval now from equation number one we have this thing we want a now the inequality for delta because you know the other step is to find delta from the previously solved uh, previously solved uh, this thing this inequality now find value of delta is greater than zero that places the centered interval 2 minus delta 2 plus delta inside the interval what interval this one now it may be uh, in your mind that how you get this interval you know as i previously discussed that uh, we will get this interval means I, I if i write here and then explain further x naught minus delta and uh, x naught plus delta then i just uh, i just replace here the value 2 that is equals to x naught because you know our x naught is equal to 2 then i can write it as 2 minus delta and 2 plus delta now take delta is equal to minimum distance of this one because you know uh, if i write here uh, this is the point 2 minus 4 minus epsilon and minus 2 okay and we can easily uh, see from here uh, 2 minus epsilon because here it is uh, um, yes this one and we take it is the minimum distance from x naught to nearest point this one means our delta will be the minimum of this interval okay if de delta has this or any smaller positive value the inequality will automatically places x between these these two uh, intervals to make this one means here we have find out that delta means delta would be this value that places our interval uh, to make this condition holds this means our delta implies this one now in the next lecture i will 